a lot of veterans, um, while you're in, when you're not quite a veteran yet, while you're still in the service, um, everything kind of just rolls off your back and everything's fine and trauma happens and you just kind of keep chugging every day um, until the day you get out, which was a little over two years, four months for me. Um, and then stuff just kind of like compounds and like things you just kind of put aside or you just didn't think about for years and years and years, like slowly starts to seep to the to surface of it. You don't have that day to day military life of like just keep on charging forward and next mission and next mission and next location and, and all that kind of stuff. So I think for me, uh, well, well, I think once I realized I was retiring, I was leaving, like things just kind of started just coming out of nowhere. And they, um, um, I'm going to say they like spiraled out of control, but they do compound on themselves. And so as like the newer mo movement of psychedelic therapy started, um, coming back around with uh, the help of like maps and the heroic hearts and some of the stuff that's been taking place in South America and just wondering maybe that could help me a little bit. I have been on SSRIs for, for a while. I'm slowly trying to like wean off of that and to try to help, you know, uh, anxiety, um, just like negative feelings, just, you know, the, the stuff starts getting you down. Three months ago, I think in October, I started joyous through um, road carts. And so I have noticed some light changes. There's still a lot of stuff there, but I've started to uh, slowly get incremental like changes in the way that I think about things. Um, I don't get me wrong. I still have anxiety. There's still like sadness and, you know, like feelings of like, you know, things maybe I could have done better in the past, but I slowly start to see like a little bit of more light into the future.